It's a perfectly good white boy. Second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. Go ahead, sign it up. I give you some time. Mm. 
You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone yeah, there right. able to concentrate, catch it, and even add it a little extra at the end with a short run. <laughs> uh, you live in New York. Alright. down and Bryant's got it over the middle and taking it across midfield and inside the 45 well clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height sit back in the pocket fired over the middle that makes things tougher defensively doesn't it it really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed but when you have that type of height he can stay in there if he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Now Tucson. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. He was brought down by Devon Kennard. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On second down, here's Raffelsberger. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Brown finishing 2016 with over 1,200 yards, 106 receptions. Now for him, you know, people were expecting maybe some bigger numbers. Charles, what did you make of Antonio Brown's season? Well, what I made of it is that he started to get more help along the way. Jesse James developed at tight end. Once Le'Veon Bell got into the lineup, he started to catch passes out of the backfield and ate up a few numbers as well. So Big Ben had more targets to throw it to. That should help Antonio Brown going forward in 2017 because he'll still be the primary guy. But when you get help, well, you can make bigger plays downfield. Now Roethlisberger, he's got his man here. It's green. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Now they'll run it with Tucson. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Jonathan Hankins in on the stop. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about it. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. It'll go as a loss of about six. And now it brings up third. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. This now play number nine on the opening drive, but it's third and long. Now Ben on third and long to the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now.
And look at this. They're keeping the punter on the sideline. They're going to go for it here on the opening drive. Fourth down. Here's Roethlisberger. He completes it to Bryant. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. Just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Play clock winding down. They snap it at one. Now it's Roethlisberger. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be what? incomplete. Charles from the Giants defense here looking forward to next season. What do they need to improve and where are they solid? I think that they'll want to continue to get better at the linebacker position. I think they want to add another pass rusher because Olivier Vernon, who was a free agent mm -hmm. pickup in 2016, did a tremendous job coming off the edge. I thought they really shored up the interior with Damon Harrison, a defensive tackle. Landon right. Collins played at an MVP level on the defensive side of the ball as safety. And Janoris Jenkins became an eraser out on the corner. And they still need 10 yards here to find pay dirt. It's second and goal from the 10. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Well, they've gotten it to the four on this opening drive, but now they face a third and goal. On third and goal, Roethlisberger. And this is going to be incomplete. Eli Rogers, the intended receiver, and it's fourth and four. And that was a nice play. He knocked it away, but obviously you want the interception in this situation. You want to take away any chance that they have any decision to make on fourth down. But things happen so quickly in the end zone in this compressed area of the field that you're just happy to knock it away and not allow a touchdown. It appears they'll go for it here on fourth down. A big call on the game's opening drive. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. That's caught at the one. They're turned away on fourth down. What? Oh, the opening drive of the ball game. The defense comes up with a goal mm. line stand. And mm. not great starting field position here for the offense. Manning now on first down. And this one hauled in by Will Ty. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. So they complete the pass and now they face a second down. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's the Giants with the football here as we begin quarter number two. They've got a second down at five here to start things out. Second down. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. Here's a nugget, Charles, on OBJ. This year he had 101 catches. Now 288 for his first three years in the league. That ties him with his former LSU teammate Jarvis Landry for most catches for a receiver in their first three years in the NFL. And just think about it this way. LSU is known as a running back factory yeah. as well. So wide receivers coming into the league and doing the damage they're doing, 
absolutely incredible. But I do know this. OBJ will tease his former teammate and say, don't forget, we're tied, but I missed a few games my rookie year. If I played those games, I'd be way ahead of you. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. And this is Shepard on the catch. <laughs> that one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. You got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Here's Manning to throw. It's hauled in by Shepard. 15 yards through the air and a first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Left side, it's Beckham. A good pick up there, 22. That's the kick starter right there. Eli Manning finding his guy, Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, it's a deadly combination, isn't it? It really is, but what really makes it work is just how unflappable Eli is with his demeanor, able to maintain his calm and his poise. Because we know OBJ, mm. he can run pretty hot and get excited out there. Sometimes just one-handed grabs for him. It doesn't matter what it is. Just throw it up there. He'll go get it. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty can make moves make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down that's some of the benefits of that speed not just outrunning people in the secondary that led to a really nice game into the red zone now man this will be caught just inside the 10. it's a good gain of 11 sets him up first and goal Working from the gun, man. Oh, oh, oh. Odell Beckham, a five-yard touchdown. And the Giants are in for six. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, mm -hmm. those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big yep. sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. A minute 57 to go in this first right. half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. Hey, a simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Here's Roethlisberger. Goes underneath for Bell. Now Bell. Oh, man. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard mm. line. The New York set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? 
I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Flag comes out, and that's because the offense did not get the playoff in time. And you can see the head coach, he is not happy. Everyone getting away from him right now because he's frustrated that they didn't get the ball snapped in time. No good. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. He wipes out the penalty yardage with a good run to get it back to second and seven. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Second down, here's Manning. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Shazier. <laughs> Yo, run a full foe. He run a full foe. That's, that's Ryan Shazier. You don't know him? <laughs> you don't know him <laughs> no wonder why you talking you don't know him <laughs> I, hey check it out my drive wasn't bad I just didn't capitalize I, don't, don't act like I ain't drive the ball not true that I just didn't, but I, you know, I made up for it right there. You had an excellent drive. You was perfect. You were right. That's fielded in the end zone. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to... Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to the time. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh! But bro, if if if, they, if you could do that, fuck it. You won the game. If they gonna let you do that shit all game, oh my god! It, damn. If that's how it's gonna be. And that's just wrong on every level. That was spectacular. Manning now on first down. Oh! Here's incomplete. Oh. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. That'll bring up second down. 
the out route's such a timing route that sometimes the guy throwing the ball just throws it almost blindly, just kind of counts on that timing winning. And in this case, the ball is batted away. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. They liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Here's Manning to throw. Trying to get it to back of it. It's <laughs> but that wasn't the fun. I caught it in the air, yo. I think you got hit and the ball popped up in the air. And I caught it in the air. Here's Roethlisberger. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Oh, it gets the points. Ah, shit! Damn! It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of the Man. teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three that'll be taken in the end zone and this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line and the Giants ready to come out now they have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three and it's such a tone setter isn't it because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half what do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Manning now on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Mm -hmm. Ball pops mm -hmm. out incomplete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yo. What are they doing? You know I like to do that randomly. Uh, oh. AFC playoff contenders for oh. this year. Oh, they got nothing to do with the defense I'm playing. Season. Who do you think might get that? <laughs> well, I think Cincinnati's got to be considered there. Maybe they'd have a, an offseason that's calm, and they go into this season and try and get back to the playoffs where they had been perennials. How about Denver? Yeah. Remember last year, they didn't have the quarterback to start. Trevor Simeon played pretty well overall, but maybe they can get solidified there and ride that strong defense right back into the playoffs. I'm going to give you a couple a little bit off the pace. Indianapolis cannot afford to squander Andrew Luck. One of the better young quarterbacks in the game. They've got to get back to the playoffs. And Buffalo, brand new head coach, brand new people running the ball club. Let's see if they can figure it out because I think defensively they can be awfully strong. Nine yards to go. It's third down. 
Looks like the defense in press coverage here. So a third and nine and six defensive backs out there in the dive. Patrolling the passing lanes. In motion, the tight end. Oh, and a delay of game there. They could not get the playoff in time. <laughs> frustrating for the head coach. Frustrating for the offense. Sometimes you have to get the play call in a little bit quicker. And Pittsburgh with six defensive backs in the game here on third down. Third and long. It's Manning. He finds Oh, come on. He's going to have the first down at about the 38. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Fresh set of downs here. Throwing on first down is Manning. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. It'll be a three yard gain, and it'll be a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. On the run, Darquan. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And that's a good sign right there if you start the third quarter. Because in the first half, not much space to run the football. And as we go into the half, we often think to ourselves, all right, what's the adjustment? What do they have to do? You know what a lot of the adjustments are? No adjustments. You know the game plan. Been working on it all week. Maybe a little tweak here or there, a little bit better blocking. And now you're establishing the running game. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back <laughs> in the 48-yard line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. And here comes play number six on this drive. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Winding down, Ben McAdoo's going to call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun on third down, Manning. <laughs> do what they wanted to do at the half which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points and break this tie and that's complete to Jesse James and he'll be taken down at the 44 yard line it'll be a pickup of 10 yards and that'll make it second and a foot or so of linebacker some of them are actually subtle doing the drill work that you do all the time in practice and carrying it over to the game get rid of blockers and get to the ball carrier and knock him down for a loss i know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first 
and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. And Mike Tomlin gonna roll up the sleeves here and say let's go for it on fourth. They'll come out in the pistol. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. He completes it to Bryant. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. We always hear about guys wanting to make plays that quiet a crowd. Yeah. After that one. Here in the third quarter, they were hoping to get the stop, get the football back. Not the case. What a completion on a fourth down play. Now the offense lining up first and ten. on first down. Man open left side is Brown. Well, they'll get 16 yards there. And it'll give the Steelers... <laughs> What's up, yo? Play clock's running down. Throwing now. Roethlisberger on first down. Bryant with a catch right side. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And here comes play number six on this drive. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Pretty good coverage there at both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. And they're going to go soft on the corners. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. <laughs> on third and one, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got Rodgers. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yeah. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. 7-7 is our score. Pretty even matchup so far as we start quarter number four. Again, we'll see the pistol here. To throw again is Roethlisberger. That's caught at the two. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll make it second and goal. And quickly, they get to the line. 
And now it's second and goal. They'll run for it with Tucson. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Fitzgerald Tucson taking it in. And the Steelers have taken the lead. Well, Brandon, he just followed his nose, and his nose took him to the end zone. But how about the big guys up front give him at least a stalemate in order to find that space? Yeah, the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't it? Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still on attack. We'll see how they attack him here. A gain of 32 that time. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred. Still confident to go deep and work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. They bring a man off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. Zebra, zebra, zebra. Manning the throw on second down. Over the middle to Beckham. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Now Darquan. And he's brought down. 12 yards on the pickup, and it's first down New York. Whether it's what we call an even front or an odd front, and an odd front's real easy to figure out. If that guy is lined up over the nose of the center, typically that's an odd front defense. Odd number of people, meaning 3-4 versus the 4-3, which is an even front. You've got to control those guys in the middle. Whether it's the nose or the two defensive tackles in a four-man front, if those guys can't get moved, you cannot run the ball in the middle of the field. And in that play, they were able to actually take care of business. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Stephon Tewitt, the one that got him down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Play action. It's Manning. And his pass is intercepted. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up, yo. Because they put me at the one. That's fucked up. They robbed me. That's some bullshit. I shouldn't be at the one. You see that shit, man? It takes me back to when we sat with the Oh, the pick? Uh, you mad at the pick? You know your quarterback is Eli, don't you? <laughs> the the <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> oh shit! After the interception, here's Roethlisberger, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Here he's looking to stay in bounds, complete the short passes, and put this game on ice. Brown, the lone receiver left. Time running out here on the play clock. They'll throw again from their own end zone. Damn, yo. Be incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. Getting late. 
late here in the fourth, and if this team has any chance to win this football game, their defense obviously needs a stop here. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Roethlisberger from his end zone on third and long. He gets it to Brown, complete. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. Charles, you think Big Ben is happy to have Antonio Brown on the other side of his passes? We know he is, but he also expects it. And this is how their offense runs best. When those two get together... <laughs> result is one we're seeing right now. They're ahead on the board. It has been early and often. Now a first down carry by Bell. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Brown, the lone receiver left. On second down, Roethlisberger. Man open left side is Brown. It's a pickup of 16 there to lead to a new set of downs. There's no doubt about it. That's just one of the best connections in the league. Big Ben throwing it to Antonio Brown. And Antonio Brown is uh, himself into such a player. A low-round draft pick, but you can't use We play what, yo? We play what? We play what? You know who that is over there? I know you got Beckham, but did you know who that is? <laughs> it's how I get out of the gun. Daddy's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. It's really come into vogue to talk about the different gaps that the defense tries to attack in an offensive line. Yo, it sounds like you hating, yo. It, it's, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like you hating. I respected your game. Yo. I gave you respect on your on your perfect drive, and you hating on what I'm doing, yo. I know my shit ain't perfect, but I'm playing a good game. But it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a how you say it? It's part of my theory. You understand what I'm saying? Stop stop what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, New York. Why are you angry, yo? Throwing now. Roethlisberger on first down. He's got a And he gets it to the 20-yard line. Oh, tell baby girl let daddy focus. He about to take this L. <laughs> daddy pissed. <laughs> Oh man. Step aside. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Shift together here from the D line. Roethlisberger going to throw it. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. Throwing now is Roethlisberger. A hit as he throws there incomplete. He was trying to find Ladarius Green there as tied in. And it's third down. <laughs> pressure there and only rushing three and there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game then his pass defense is going to be excellent you're dropping eight where are you going to go with the football Watch 
around the lone receiver left. Now it's Roethlisberger. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive that had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Look, okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. No, nah, no, nah, that's it. You still got time, yo. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to... Yeah, you got, you got Odell Beckham, yo. Odell Beckham Jr. They'll try and throw for it with Roethlisberger. And he can't get it right. away. He's taken down. Olivier Vernon in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver, and it's second down. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. throw deep downfield and he bats it away and it falls down incomplete and that play was what every defense is wary of the big strike attempted downfield but they were in excellent position but didn't get fooled and while he didn't come up with the interception was able to bat the ball down they'll look to throw oh my goodness how he didn't pick that off how he didn't get that instead he gets him one more chance here they helping you out man they helping you out to watch you get this they helping you out yo they want you to win this <laughs> i tell you yo backing off in the secondary you got back up yo now manning gotta have this one He's going to let it fly. And it's in Good game, man. So their <laughs> final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. A road oh, win in the National over. Football League. Charles, you <laughs> never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. And you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this.